guys, it's Piggy from the Paper Bumblebee. Welcome back. Uh, today, I wanted to say firstly, I'm sorry for uh, my videos late. I've got some issues with my um, my computer. And well, we've also been gone for like a weekend. That's a little island in uh, in the Netherlands. And well, we, we had a ball. It was uh, at the sea, seaside and beach. And it was just wonderful, but then I came back and my uh, computer didn't uh, didn't want to go on, didn't want to work. So we've got that. But I wanted to share when I was uh, on the island, I went to a thrift store and got all these goodies, and I I was so excited. I got really nice secondhand books. There were so many books. I wanted to take them all, but well was just a limited uh, amount of space so this is what I got but before I want to show you what I've got I wanted to thank uh, RMJN Games with a Z with a Z for donating my ever first ever coffee thank you thank you thank you so much i really appreciate it if you didn't know i've got a link down below in the description box you can buy me some coffee to help me build my channel and no obligation just if you want to go check it out so let's go and have a look what i bought okay first off i wanted to show you these little books they were so adorable. I first thought, okay, one of each color, and I thought, no, I'm just going to take them all. They were like 25 cents each, and they are little dictionaries. So, all kinds of languages. The green one is uh, French, French and Dutch. These are Dutch and Spanish. So, uh, Dutch and French, and French and Dutch. That's the way a dictionary works, you, you all know. Uh, Spanish and the Netherlands and this is Italian and uh, Dutch this is Dutch English this is one and then these two are German and Dutch and I thought they were so so adorable so I took them all they are really small this is my hand they are like my pinky size so really really tiny if you really want to know the size I can check it out it's like five centimeters and three and a half centimeters so really tiny and i thought okay maybe i should not use them they are so cute but maybe i don't know if you've got any ideas they are really beaten up so i don't know if you've got any ideas please let me know down in the description box below what you would do if you've got one of these. I thought maybe just little, you see they are really beat up. So little ornaments on your junk journal or maybe you can make them in a little art journal or I don't know. What would you do? These are really adorable and I'm, I'm just so thrilled I got these. These are so cute. So, eight of these. So, got those. Then I've got this little pin. I thought this was really beautiful for maybe in a autumn, in an autumn junk journal. Just a little pin. So, I got that. I got that. Then I've got these books. These are Russian dictionaries English Russian and they are also really old and beaten up so I thought I will take these I love different languages in my junk journals and these are really really nice see this is really all beaten up and I have no idea what the date is um, 1944 I think I, I'm supposed to take the last date, I'm not sure, but 1944. So, really nice. And then this one, they were like three in a in a bundle. 
and I took them all and this is also Russian and no date on this one let me see yeah 1944 as well so really nice to be used I love this really nice old books vintage old books then I also got this one this is a Greek just a reading books it says and look at this gorgeous this is really gorgeous let me see that if there's a date this was from 1953 so also vintage not that much but also really cool look at this got some markings in there as well love that so got that this is also quite nice still got that one then I've just got a really vintage old book booklet I don't know it's like soft soft cover of 1969 and I just love the little pictures and I thought maybe make copies but can't for there's copyright on them that's so sad for I really love these so unfortunately really cute then I've got this dictionary Spanish but I don't know if I'm gonna use this this is really really nice and not vintage at all but I love in uh, as you know I love different languages learning different languages and all of that so maybe this will come in really handy just a Spanish dictionary so who knows this is still really nice and then of course I got these two books really old and I'm really happy to have found these look at this love it all yellow pages and this of course is music paper you can see here I think it got wet or something written in there oh, I love this so gorgeous oh dead spider ah! okay lovely and this one as well or music book put on there they unfortunately don't have dates so can't tell you also really look how yellow this is, this is so beautiful love this so definitely and you can smell how old it is <laughs> I don't know if you know what I mean so love this here we've got some Salut tape, really gorgeous. So I'm really happy that I found these. Then I went to the fabrics and I got me some fabrics and they've got these little bundles. It's like all of this were in three bundles and one euro each and that's really cheap. So I'm just going to show you real quickly. This is like brown, green with little flowers. Oh, and this is like wood. Purplish and red. There's little flowers as well. There's little flowers. And they all can be book covers or used in books for their all small pieces. Some of them bigger than others. So I was so happy to have found all these don't worry I didn't take it all left some for other people as well and then this was in one of the packages so I went to an island and what one of the things I love on that island is the, is the lighthouse and look what I found in one of those packages ah! I wanted this is so bad this is so cute 
all lighthouses and little boats and I decided to make a little travel journal and I'm gonna use this in there as well I thought maybe the cover but if it's a travel journal of all the travels we made then maybe not the cover just the inside maybe I will make little uh, signatures of each place we w uh, we went and make a cover for each signature and then this will be the cover of the signature of the Tesla where we went to isn't this cute love this this is so cute so I was so happy to found this and then the last item I think I found was this lacy thing I thought oh my word this is beautiful and I had to take this with me as well so I think that was my haul of my little weekend I went so I wanted to show you just one or two pictures I took there of um, of course the lighthouse and um, maybe some houses uh, on the way there they've got these gorgeous houses so different uh, from our houses especially the roofs you'll uh, see them in the pictures I will show you in the next uh, couple of minutes I don't know I will show you some pictures and maybe even of the windmills I took along the way and I was planning on making maybe some digitals with the windmills so I don't know keep an eye out on my channel and I will show you first before they go into my shop so have fun watching uh, the couple of uh, pictures I'm uh, putting on here and I hope to see you soon again till next time bye bye